Even Trent Tobago, welcome to the Manuel Stadium. And today we are here to talk to a couple members of the Maximizing Athletic Track Club. They'll be hosting a summer camp, a four week summer camp, you know, starting on Monday, the 25th of July. And uh, we want to talk to them a bit about what is happening with this club. Uh, I know that you will have seen from time to time on my YouTube channel, I did a couple of interview with this club uh, some time back. So it's just ready to highlight the camp that is being um, put on on Monday. Uh, with me is Mr. Ken Kodre. Ken is the coordinator of this camp. Ken, welcome and it's a pleasure to chat with you. Nice. Uh, Tell us a bit about this camp, especially what the summer camp entails and what is the reason behind it. Okay, this camp, we put together this camp for more track and field. So we put together events like javelin, mm -hmm. shot put, mm -hmm. long jump, and we have the track running, middle distance, and also conditioning right, right. for the athletes that right. come in. Mm -hmm. We host in this camp in order to rec also recruit members to the club for the next year so we could have more members coming to the club and being part of the athletic field mm -hmm. to being able to compete with the rest of clubs in Trinidad and Tobago. Okay, now we started on Monday, right? For the viewers, um, tell us about registration, um, how much to pay, you know, things like that. What can a parent or an individual who looking at this interview, what can they expect their child to gain from coming to this club? All right, coming to this club, we have registration at our Facebook site. Also, we use the Better Cell cellular store as the main office right now, which is located in Marbla, okay. where you could go and get the acquire information, also register, know how you could pay to join the camp. Mm -hmm. The camp is 600 per child. If you have two children, we give a discount at a thousand for two kids. Okay. Right? We intend to bring on much people as possible, come and learn all the athletics, track and field events, because mostly everyone here is doing more running. Mm -hmm. We're going to expose more the traveling, the shot puts, the high jump. We also Put together the long jump as well. Okay, okay. So we having more events and more exposure for the South people to come and get a feel of this event. How has registration been so far? Well, we it started off slow. Even this last weekend, we been getting a lot of calls. People coming in last minute because the advertisement maybe wasn't out there as much. But we this weekend was a great turnout. We're looking for more people to come in mm -hmm. and take part okay. in this event. Okay. Um, the kids that come into the camp, what do the parents have to give them to um? Well, basically, the basics. Track, track clothes, they could provide lunch because it's 9 to 2, something mm -hmm. like. And we have refreshments as water and stuff for them to drink, okay. you know, as we go along. Okay, okay. And from what age to what age? 7 plus onwards. Okay, all right. Is there anything you really want the public to know? You know, uh, at least something that parents always want to know when they're selling their camp, they try the camp, is safety. Correct. Based on the, the registration forms, only people that you designate to pick up your kids will be able to pick up your kids. Okay. Right? So if, when you come and get the forms, the forms have four applicants who, who you will suggest mm -hmm. to drop off and pick up your kids. So on that day, we will not be sending the kids off with no one not on the form unless it's authorized by the parents right mm -hmm. so come into the camp it starts at nine we finish at two it will be a great experience because we have a coach from jamaica with us we also have michelle penny a senior coach we have our coach a very map coach himself showing joseph and we have a lot of assistant members with us to make this event a good event okay um at the end of this camp Something that I always pay attention to mm. is that we have camps, right? And two-week camp, three-week camp, four-week camp. But at the end of the camp, the children go back home, right? But what do you have in place? Because after four weeks, I wouldn't want to send my child to be here for four weeks. And after Correct. 
recognize. What we also have in place is for all who was interested in the camp and enjoy the experience, willing to take part with the camp and register with our camp, which will be our ongoing camp. Okay. Right? So you all could register right after the camp and be a part of the MAP family and excel, excel as we go on. Okay. Well, viewers, uh, we're going to be talking to a couple more people who are involved in this camp, but actually we were discussing here with the coordinator, the person who's going to co coordinate the whole, the whole effort here. And um, I think that it's a good effort. Remember, the kids were down for, uh, I think, about two years or so. So we need to get them back out there and get them away from the laptops and the tablets, right, and get them back outside on the field. Regardless of whatever sports they want, get them back on the field. So we're going to take a short break. When we come back, we're going to talk to a youngster who won the bronze medal at the recently uh, juvenile games um, that was recently held. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back, viewers. And we are still here at the Mad Madi Ranzan Stadium. And I have a young chap with me. If you hear the story behind this youth. We don't go there, but you see how you're looking sharp. Um, his name is Akim Kudri, and he's the bronze medalist from the recently concluded juvenile games in the under nine um, division. Congratulations. Thank you. Tell me a bit about yourself, first of all, like what school you go to. My school is Union Presbyterian School. Right, and how you got involved in running track? Well, my daddy put me running, and then I started to do running. Right, so what do you do? 100 meters, 200? I did the 100 and the 80. And the 80? Right, and you got the, you got the medal bronze. in what, the, the 100? I won the bronze medal at the 80 meters race. So you will be a member of the summer camp, right? Yes. What are you expecting to get out of this camp? My experience. Right, and you are serious about track. Right. Which athlete out there that you admire the most? Both. So you, 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 you that, that's the person who you use as a motivation to, to, um, to, to go further. All right? Yes. Okay. All right, well, again, congratulations and all the Thank best. You. All right. Welcome back. We're still here talking to members of the MAP Athletic Club. Remember, they are hosting their summer camp starting on Monday, the 25th of July. It will run for four weeks. Uh, $600 per child. If you have two kids, it's a thousand dollars. You get a discount. And I think that we should grab at this, especially as I said earlier. It's two years now. Children have not been active, been involved in any sort of sports. So I think now is the opportunity to get them back so they will be better equipped when school reopens. I have with me Mr. Lensford Spence, and he is one of the coaches who will be here for this camp, and Mr. Spence is Jamaican-born, and it's, you know, once we sit down with anybody from Jamaica who is involved in sport, it is royalty, we know that, I mean, I mean you know, two ways about it. Welcome to Tobago. Welcome. Tell me a bit about yourself. Okay, I don't know, my name is Lensford Spence, I'm from Jamaica. Grew up in Hanover and I went to Rossi's High School and I was known for my athletics. I used to play football, mm -hmm. cricket and mm -hmm. track and field. Track and field was my last, not my last, my third option during yeah. my school school year. So on my final year, my coach, coach said to me, said, come try out for the four by one. And I went over there and when I went over there, I, I ran leave one of the senior guys on the box stretch and he said, all right, I know you're a cricket and a footballer, but just come train at least two times a week. And mm -hmm. from there was history. I went on to make the character team for Jamaica. I got, I think I got goal in the four by four and I came third in the 400 meter and I got a scholarship where I moved on to GC faster. Where I spent two more years and I got a scholarship to Auburn University that in the United States of America. Mm -hmm. And I represent my country in the 400 and the 200 meters over, over 12 years. I'm a world championship 
three time four by four medalist, also a semi semi finalist in the four hundred meter, a Commonwealth silver medalist in the two hundred meter, and a CSC silver medalist in the two hundred meter uh, also. The CVS royalty, royalty. Um, what about the Ol Olympics? Yeah, I'm Olympian finalist in the four by four. That's the only medal that missing from my collection. Okay. Yeah. That was in what year? That was in 2008 in Beijing. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. So you are a qualified coach now, right? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a qualified coach. Right. What can the children who will be coming to this summer camp, what can they expect to get from your experience? They're coming to get the knowledge and someone who will dedi who dedicate by executing the skill right and the proper way so they can gain knowledge from it. So by growing up, going moving on from primary school to high school, they get as much knowledge as best as possible so they can become a better person. What do you think is the perfect age for a child to st get involved in track, to, 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 to be very successful at a later um, stage? For me, I would never say they're the perfect age because, you know, on the female side, they develop quicker than the male. When I, think, I think the age of between six to age nine, they develop quicker than the male. The yeah. male take a while to develop. So, I can bring them all from at the age of six years old, come right up. Okay. But when you look back at, at your career, what would you say was the highlight of your career? Um, my highlight of my career. You, you, you talk about so many things, but is there one thing that stands out? My first world championship in 2003 in Paris, mm. where we came second in the 4x4. That's my highlight. Okay. That was my first time making the world championship team. Who are some of the, the for the for the viewers say, who are some of the athletes that you rub shoulder with in your career? Ah, Usain Bolt, Asafa Powell, Davian Clark, Sanjay, Danny McFarlane, Shelly Ann Fraser, Elian sorry, Elian Thompson my end up part of my career mm -hmm. and also Vernica Campbell and mm -hmm. Karen Stewart. Yeah, great great athletes, great yeah. athletes. Well, let me thank you very much for, for spending this time with us and um, I hope that you enjoy your stay and I really hope that the, the kids who come out in the camp will truly appreciate and benefit what you have to offer to them. Okay, thank so you. So thank you very much and it was a pleasure. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Welcome back to us and before we wrap, I just want to give the coordinator, Mr. Ken Coutry, the opportunity to talk to the viewers and talk to the parents outside there as why it is necessary for them to attend this camp. Nice. First of all, before I give that information, we want to thank the entries for the equipment to help with this summer camp. Also, parents, you could register at Better Cell in Marbella. Also, check the Facebook page for information. My page, Facebook page. And again, the price is 600 per child. If you have two kids, you get a discount price at $8,000. So you all come on and then get a great experience. As we say, we have a Jamaican coach on board to show us from his side. Also have our finest, our Trinidad coaches, where you all come together and join us and be a part of the MAP family.